Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Renaissance Gaming production. Today I am starting a new series with DeFi Kingdoms and this is going to be something completely different than anything I have ever done on my channel before. The reason for that is I don't know if I can call DeFi Kingdoms a game. At least not yet. At its core DeFi Kingdoms is a cryptocurrency investment platform. I know I know that sounds crazy I'm a gaming channel I play games. But hear me out on this, I think it's going to be very exciting and I think you will all enjoy the series and learn a lot along the way. Obviously I have a lot of interests outside of gaming and some of those include technology, coding, cryptocurrencies, investments, and DeFi Kingdoms I think is a great way for me to bridge all of those interests together and present it to you as a series. Because in DeFi Kingdoms the developers have tried to gamify cryptocurrency investments. I think that cryptocurrencies, NFTs, crypto gaming, all of these things are going to explode over the next few years and I think 2022 is the perfect year where that avalanche is going to start. And so I thought this was the perfect opportunity to bridge all of these interests together and present it to you as a series. If all these terms I'm throwing out to you sound completely foreign, I understand that and it is one of the goals of this series to expose a lot of you to all of these different technologies. The world of cryptocurrency and the blockchain is certainly very complex and it's very difficult to try and digest all of the information and understanding of these spaces into a single video. So I do hope that you have some basic understanding of these things or it may be a little bit more difficult to follow along with these series but I'm going to do my best to explain things along the way so that you don't feel completely lost. And certainly I encourage you to utilize the comment section so that I can answer any questions that come up along the way. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about DeFi Kingdoms. Like I mentioned, at its core, it's a cryptocurrency investment platform that the developers have tried to gamify to make it more fun and accessible. Now, looking forward to the future, they also do plan to add features that do make this a game, something that people want to come to and play to have fun for the sake of having fun. So let's go through this. Welcome to the Kingdom, a DeFi game built on the blockchain designed with usable NFTs. Now, if you haven't heard any of those terms, that probably sounds like alien language to you. So let me break this down a little bit for you. So let's go ahead and start with the word blockchain. The blockchain is an infrastructure that allows people to execute transactions and it also records those transactions and makes them public so anybody can go and see all the transactions that have ever taken place on the blockchain and also verify them. Now when you think of the word transaction I want you to think very broadly. A transaction doesn't mean just the exchanging of one thing for another. So for example if you buy some Bitcoin that's obviously a transaction and it gets executed on and stored on the Bitcoin blockchain but it can be much more complex than that. So for example, on the Ethereum blockchain, you can deploy things called smart contracts where you're not necessarily just exchanging one cryptocurrency or dollar for another cryptocurrency. You can do much more complex things than that. And that's essentially what the blockchain is. So next, let's talk about DeFi. What is DeFi? So DeFi stands for decentralized financing. So if you think of centralized financing, you can think of your traditional bank. It's a centralized institution that allows you to engage in financial services, such as depositing money, withdrawing money, taking out a loan, loaning out your own money, so on and so forth. With a decentralized exchange, there is no central entity controlling all that. So for example, if you go to Bank of America, Bank of America is the centralized institution that takes care of all the financial transactions that goes on in there. In a decentralized financed exchange, nobody really controls anything, which is kind of exciting, kind of scary if you're not too familiar with how things work. But the way this happens is you can become your own bank in a way or another. And we'll talk about all that as we get into DeFi Kingdoms. And finally, let's briefly talk about NFTs. So NFT stands for non-fungible token. So that's the opposite of a fungible token. Bitcoin, for example, is a fungible token, meaning that one Bitcoin is exactly the same as the next Bitcoin. Think of NFTs 
as their own cryptocurrency, but there's only one of it. In the context of this game, this game has heroes, and each hero is an NFT, and they have their own worth that you can trade them for. So we'll get much more into depth as we move on. So let's go through the website here. You will see that there's a little trailer here that should be pretty exciting. And now it talks about the jewel token. The jewel token is a cryptocurrency. So again, I've brought up Bitcoin, I've brought up Ethereum. These are the two biggest cryptocurrencies, but beyond them, there are thousands of other little cryptocurrencies that each have, or maybe in some cases don't have any other value. So in the case of jewel, it is the cryptocurrency used in this game, and it is what allows you to engage in different activities in the game. So one of the things you can do in the game is swap tokens. So this plays into the decentralized financing aspect that I talked about. So for example, if you're going to go to vacation in Europe, you would need to get some euros. So you may go to a centralized exchange or a bank and say, hey, I have a thousand dollars and I want to trade this into euros. So that's what a swap is, is just changing one currency for another. So in DeFi kingdoms, you can swap cryptocurrency. So for example, if you have some Ethereum, you can change it to Jewel and start doing things within the game after exchanging that currency. So what is a pool? Well, if you want to be able to swap currencies, you need a pool. For example, again, if you go to a centralized bank and you say, I want to trade my $1,000 for some euros, they can't really do that unless they have euros. So the reserve that they have, so all the dollars they have stored in the bank, all the euros they have there is part of the pool. And in DeFi kingdoms, in a decentralized exchange, you can serve as the bank by contributing to that pool. So for example, if you have $1,000 and you have $1,000 worth of euros in the equivalent, you can put that into the pool. So you can put $1,000 in, 1,000 euros in, and then other people that are coming in and wanting to exchange those currencies, they'll be drawing from your pool and you actually get a little bit of the fees associated with that. Another way to explain that is, let's say somebody comes in and they want to buy some euros with their dollars. Well, where are those euros coming from? Well, from anybody that contributed to this pool by putting on their own euros. Next is the garden, which is the gamified way for you to contribute to this pool. So again, if you deposit some euros and some dollars, you are essentially farming some of the fees associated with other people that go in there and try to exchange those two currencies. The bank is a way to allow you to deposit some of your cryptocurrencies to make sure that there's enough money within the game itself to keep it running. And there's some incentives for doing that. Next, there are heroes. So this is where some of the game aspect of DeFi Kingdoms comes in. Heroes are NFTs that you can purchase within DeFi Kingdoms, and then you can do multiple things with them. You can go on quests and earn rewards. And remember, every reward and everything that you earn within this game can be traded for real world money, which is really exciting. So there's gonna be heroes, which you can do a lot with. There's gonna be land. So think, for example, you own a little bit of land within this game, and other people maybe can start coming into your land and farming on your land. So they earn a little bit of money, but you get a kickback because they're essentially leasing out your land. So they're still developing a lot of this. And again, this game is going to be developing so much as we move forward. So you can just kind of get a taste of all the cool things you can do within DeFi Kingdoms. And here's their roadmap in terms of how are things coming along? What are some of the plans for the future? So you can kind of go through that. They, they're talking about heroes and quests here, which they've started to implement. There's going to be new kingdoms coming out, buildings, equipment. There's going to be PVE and PVP content. It's really, really exciting. And so I definitely encourage you to check out the website. As a reminder, make sure you do your own research in this. I'm going to have to be putting a financial disclosure at the beginning of all these videos. Again, none of this is financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Do with your own money only what you're comfortable with and done your research with just because I'm doing this doesn't mean you should as well. So for this first episode, it's just going to be a setup episode. How do you get started in DeFi Kingdoms? If you want to play this, how do you do that? So we're going to go ahead and talk about all that right now. The first thing that you are going to need to do in order to play DeFi Kingdoms is have a way for your cryptocurrency to interact with the game. And you need a wallet for that, a cryptocurrency wallet. 
And so the best wallet for you to use for this is something called MetaMask. So you can go to metamask.io to set up your wallet and it functions as a Chrome extension. So you want to make sure that you have a Chrome based browser such as Google Chrome, of course, or Brave browser works as well. I think there's a few other ones, but as long as you have a Chrome compatible browser, you can go ahead and download this. So yeah, here are some of the uh, browsers that it works with. So Chrome, Firefox, Brave, Edge. So let's go ahead and install MetaMask on Chrome. You just add it to Chrome, just like that. And add the extension. And then finally, once it's all set up, you can set up your MetaMask wallet. So you can go ahead and click get started. And if you already had a MetaMask wallet, you can es essentially just import it here to your browser or you can set up a new wallet. So let's go ahead and create a new wallet and just agree to some of the things and you're gonna set a password for your wallet and go ahead and create. So this will talk to you about how to secure your wallet, but I'll briefly discuss that as well. So when you first set up your wallet, you're going to get a secret recovery phrase and this is how you unlock your wallet. So you may be thinking, hey, what if my hard drive crashes and my computer blows up and I can't access my wallet anymore? Well, you would just re-download MetaMask on another browser and computer and then using the secret recovery phrase, it gives you access back to your initial wallet. And so I'm going to click here because I'm just making a wallet here to demonstrate for you guys. I'm not actually going to use this, but you never want to show these secret words to anybody. So you click here to reveal the words and you get a combination of 12 different words. If you ever were to lose your wallet again, you would just type in these words into MetaMask and it would recover your wallet for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy these. In general, you want to store this in a very safe location. Some people print it out and stick it in a safe and there's all sorts of ways to keep this safe, but ideally you don't want to leave it on your computer because that just predisposes hackers to coming in and maybe getting your secret phrase wallet. If anybody gets your secret phrase, they essentially have access to your wallet and all your money in it. So be very careful with that. So next they want you to verify your secret phrase so that they're sure that you know how it worked. So I'm just going to fast forward me going through this. And there you go. MetaMask is all set up. And you can see I have nothing on here, no Ethereum, nothing like that. Now, the other thing you're going to have to do in order to participate in DeFi Kingdom is make sure that you are on the correct blockchain. So again, remember the blockchains and infrastructure of transactions and there are different blockchains out there. The main one is the Ethereum blockchain, but that's not the blockchain that the game works on. The game currently works on the Harmony blockchain, and so we need to set up our account to the Harmony blockchain. So the way to do that is to come over here, and then you want to add a new network, and then it's going to ask you for some information. Now, if you go over to the Harmony website, they tell you exactly how to do this. So here's some of the instructions of how to get your MetaMask connected to the Harmony blockchain. So this is kind of what you're going to want to copy over here. So once you've put all the correct information in here, you're just going to hit save and then you should be on a new network. So you can see now here I can switch my wallet to the Ethereum mainnet or to the Harmony mainnet. And you can see that I have zero one tokens. So the next step in order to be able to play DeFi Kingdoms is to fund your wallet. So every action that you take in the game requires you to use a little bit of one. Now, don't be too worried about that because it's it's really just pennies on the dollar. So for example, if you want to deposit some money in the DeFi Kingdoms Bank, it requires a transaction on the blockchain and the transactions aren't free. It has to be done by somebody and that requires some money. So it requires a little bit of one token. And again, it's, it's really just a few pennies, if that, to do any transaction. So again, the next step is to fund this wallet. There are multiple ways to do that. So if you already have cryptocurrency, one of the ways to convert it to one token would be on this website on the Harmony blockchain, bridge.harmony.one. And for example, if you want to convert some Binance US dollar coin into one, you can do that. Or if you want to convert some Ethereum, obviously there's only limited cryptocurrencies that you can exchange for right now, at least. The other way to get one token is obviously just to buy it. Now, anytime you're converting real money into cryptocurrency, 
you have to go through an exchange and there are many exchanges out there for example there's coinbase there's binance there's crypto.com there's kucoin there's a lot of different exchanges i highly recommend against coinbase they're one of the first and biggest exchanges and so they leverage that name brand recognition by charging you outrageous fees and they also sell all their cryptocurrencies significantly above market value so sometimes when you buy cryptocurrency on coinbase when you look by the time that cryptocurrency is in your wallet you're already down like 10 15 percent of its value just because you paid so much for it so i don't recommend coinbase they're just too pricey some better ones would be binance they have very reasonable fees and also crypto.com is good because at least as of right now they have a 30 day no fee so you know if you're planning on making a big investment into cryptocurrency you may want to use crypto.com because you're not going to be paying any fees for the first 30 days i'm not going to go over how to make accounts on all those exchanges that would just kind of detract from the goal of this series which is to focus on DeFi kingdoms but feel free to look up some other videos on how to do that i'm personally going to be purchasing some one token on crypto.com and then transferring it to my wallet so once I've bought some one token on the exchange, I need to get it to my MetaMask wallet. And so the way to do that is to copy your MetaMask wallet address here. And don't worry, this is a public thing. So it's not like you have to keep this secret. So you just come up here and you click copy to clipboard. And this is my MetaMask wallet address. And so I can send money from an exchange to this address and it should show up here on my MetaMask wallet. Now you have to be careful because this is actually an Ethereum address. In order to send it to the Harmony network, you need to change this address to a Harmony address. So the way you do that is to go to this website here, explorer.pops.1, and then you can paste your address here and it gives you a new address on the Harmony blockchain. So this is actually the address you wanna be sending your one token to. So right there. So you can copy that and then you can send from an exchange to this address okay so you can see now that my transaction came through i deposited 3401 into my metamask wallet and you can see that there was a tiny little transaction fee of 0. 0.00081 which is again just pennies but now my wallet is funded and i am ready to begin so let's go ahead and hit start playing And we're ready to go. I'm so excited about this. So again, you got to connect your MetaMask wallet. And then your MetaMask wallet is going to ask you for permission. And you can see I got my DeFi Kingdom wallet there. And I got my one. So next, I'm going to go ahead and connect. And there you go. We're all set. And so you can pick your little profile picture here and give your guy a name. So hopefully Renaissance is still available. I would hope and then I don't know which guy do I want I kind of like the one with the hood that guy looks pretty powerful I kind of like the guy with the hood I like that so let's go ahead and complete the profile and so again everything you do on here is going to require a transaction and as you can see um, it's going to cost 0 0.006 to create my character and again that's just pennies it's the cost of doing business on the blockchain so let's go ahead and confirm that so that's it my transaction went through and you can see my character here renaissance and i think this is going to be a good stopping point for this episode i just wanted to introduce the series talk a little bit about cryptocurrencies and show you how to get set up so if you want to play DeFi kingdoms you can do so as well in the next episode i'll start going a little bit more in depth talking about some of the game mechanics and we'll go from there so thanks for watching i hope you're excited about this series i know it's something completely different than anything i've done before but i think it's going to add a lot of value to you guys and hopefully you learn a lot along the way and see you next time